All right here we are on 6.2 and 6.2 is evaluating graphing polynomial functions. All right, so let's take a look here at this problem. Um, this is called synthetic substitution and they're telling us what negative one uh, and basically what they really mean is take negative one and plug it in for x everywhere. So all you need to do for synthetic substitution is you take all the coefficients. All right, so you take all your coefficients and you write them down and you make sure that they are in order so it needs to be in standard form and as well as being in standard form you also need to make sure that if you're missing any x's see how we have x to the fifth x to the fourth x cubed x squared x and so on if you're missing any of those it needs to go down the line if you're missing any you put a zero in its spot now this negative one here goes on the outside and here's basically how it works you drop the negative two down Negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2, and then you add those to get 5. 5 times negative 1 is negative 5, and you add those to get negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4, and you add those to get 3. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, and we add those to get 3. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, and we add those to get 0. So your answer when you plug in a negative 1 is zero. Taking a look at this one, still doing the same concept. Um, keep in mind, we are missing a x cubed, so it's like saying zero x cubed. We still have an x squared, so we're okay. We're also missing an x, so it's like saying zero x uh, plus five. So really, this is like writing down three, then a zero, then negative two, then a zero, then a five and the number that we're plugging in is a 2. So I put the 2 there. So I bring down a 3. 3 times 2 is 6. I add them together to get 6. 6 times 2 is 12. I add them together to get 10. 10 times 2 is 20. I add them together to get 20. 20 times 2 is 40. I add those together to get 45 and 45 is your answer. So when you plug in 2, you end up getting 45 out. So let's make this as difficult as we can. The coefficient is um, 2 thirds, uh, negative 4, um, a 1 half, and a 2. Okay, that's all it is. Not missing any, 3, 2, and that's a 1, and then there is no x, and I plug in a negative 2. So I bring down the 2 thirds, and I multiply it to get negative 4 thirds. Negative 4 thirds, right, negative 4 thirds, plus negative 4 over 1. If I find a common denominator, that's like saying 3 over, or sorry, negative 12 over 3. So you actually end up with negative 16 um, over 3. Then I multiply those to get positive 32 over 3. And I need to add those together. And I guess I just erased the whole thing. Uh, but um, I added those. Let's see if I remember what we had here. Um, 32 over 3 is what we had, right? I brought down 2 thirds, multiplied that by negative 2, and we ended up getting um, negative 4 thirds, right? And then I said we multiplied to get negative 16 thirds, multiplied there to get 32 over 3. So I need to add those together. So 1 half and 32 over 3. So common denominator would be 6, so 3 over 6, and 64 over 6, right? Because I'd multiply this by 3, multiply this by 2, and when you add them together, you would get 67 over 6. And then I would uh, multiply it by 2, and 67 times 2 is 4, so we get negative 134 because it's a negative over 6 
and I have to add those together. Um, and when we're doing that, let's see here for the side work for this one. When we are doing that, um, let's add together a 2 over 1, a negative 134 over 6. So I can basically just multiply both the top and the bottom by 6, so it's really like saying 12 plus a negative 134, um, which gives me, let's see here, so you end up with negative 122 um, over 6, and let's see if we can divide those two, 122 take a 2 in, but I can't do it evenly, so your answer is negative 122 over 6. So they can be more difficult if you have fractions, but they can still be done um, without using the calculator. And speaking of calculators, when we come back we're going to figure out how to use our graphing calculator in order to graph these polynomials.